Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here, ready for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And I'm going to uh, take an opportunity to once again try and build a similar vessel to a historic one. And I say similar because I know that with the limitations given to me in this game as far as the types of weapons, the types of hulls, the nations that you build, all these sorts of things... It's so far impossible in the Naval Academy to do anything close to what would be considered a decent or even exact replica. So that was the case with Yamato. That's going to be the case here with HMS Dreadnought. I know uh, some of you are going to see problems with this right off the bat. Obviously, it's flying a Japanese flag. We don't like that. The hull is not exact. I know that um, they actually do have the hull. Uh, on here in this mission that's similar to Dreadnought, and I think it's the Dreadnought 1. Uh, but if I pull that up, it's going to eliminate everything I just did. So I'm not going to do that. And it has kind of that raised area in the front where the kind of the front of the ship is higher up than the back, like the HMS Dreadnought was. Unfortunately, I couldn't place the guns that Dreadnought had if I used that one. So I had to go with this uh, Dreadnought wide hull on this mission in order to be able to fit the guns. Second thing you'll probably notice right away are these two side uh, dual 12-inch uh, guns. Uh, the Dreadnought had those guns in the mid uh, of the ship, but they faced forward. Uh, you can't do that on this game. Uh, only the centerline guns face forward or back, uh, but I was able to place them in the right, kind of in the pretty much in the right spot. Uh, they're just going to be facing that way. So uh, also... Uh, Dreadnought had something like 27 3-inch guns. I can't get that many on the ship. I think I've got 18 of them. Uh, I could be wrong. They might be less than that. Uh, 12, uh, 14. I have 14 3-inch guns. That's all it would let me do of the 3-inch size. Uh, I've got four underwater torpedo tubes. Dreadnought had five. Uh, the displacement's way off. Dreadnought, uh, fully loaded, was 21,000 or so tons. This one's 25,000. I had to go that high in order to make the ship long enough to be able to fit all the guns on here. Uh, so I do have the guns. I don't have a barbette because from as near as I could tell, there was no kind of raised super firing gun in the back. Uh, there's one in the front, two in the back. So I've got that right. Uh, it was the first capital ship to use steam turbines. So I do have those going for me. I've got the speed right at 21 knots. Um, the armor, except for secondaries, is pretty much accurate. 11-inch uh, belt, 4-inch extended belt, 3-inch uh, deck. Uh, it was 0.75 extended deck, uh, so I went with 0.8, just rounded it up. Conning tower, 11 inches. Turrets, 3 inches on the top, 12 on the front. Uh, so those are all correct uh, as near as I could find the information. So all you purists out there, my apologies. This is not... The HMS Dreadnought, it's a similar ship, similar uh, big guns, similar armor. Uh, I have two uh, funnels like it did, obviously not in the right place. Uh, I believe that this tower was actually a little further back on the ship. So again, please don't think I'm trying to make an exact replica. Just doing the best I can and just taking it out for a spin. I don't expect to win this mission with this uh, ship. Because this ship is not nearly as advanced or as powerful or as armored as what I probably need to win this mission. But we're going to give it a try anyway. We're going to have some fun with it. And I'm going to keep trying to do these as best I can. Hopefully we get some new features available and some new missions that allow a little bit more customization with these, uh, with these ships. I'm going up against two battleships, two heavy cruisers, two light cruisers. That's a big task for a ship built in 1905 to take on. So, uh, we know the game is named after Dreadnought. Dreadnought was the first of these kind of line of ships that had the uniform main guns. Uh, she was built in 1905. Never really saw any significant action. I believe uh, she rammed and sunk a German U-boat. And I'm, that might be the only battleship that's ever sunk a, a submarine as far as I was able to find. Uh, but she didn't participate in the Battle of Jutland, didn't really see any significant service, and kind of was relegated to a, uh, a coastal defense role toward the end of World War I. But she changed everything as far as uh, how navies were, were built and constructed.
So I'm not sure how this is all going to work out, but hey. So we've at least got this side gun going. We've got four sets of uh, two 12-inch guns going. I'm a little nervous about what kind of firepower I'm going to be able to take. I feel like my armor's not thick enough to be able to deal with this mission effectively. I'm not sure what kind of guns these guys have. We'll see once we identify. I see some firing coming from behind them, but I don't see the, the ships that are doing that. Try to get out in front of these guys if I can. See what angle I can get at this so they can fire off the fence. I'm a little worried about this one right here. I don't think anybody's hit anything yet. But this is kind of that time in history. He's coming up at me. Let's see if we can maybe land a shot on this thing. Before he gets his torpedoes into me. Tower on Dreadnought historically was actually between the uh, no, that's not where I want to go. between the two rear guns, uh, so it would have been kind of a tower here, a gun here, but it wouldn't let you do it that way. Now we got a couple hits landing. Landed a hit, nice. Got a hit on that destroyer. Actually, gonna go ahead and turn away from him. I'm sure he's probably fired torpedoes by now. hits on me. Haven't spotted any torpedoes yet, but I'm sure they're there. There's a big hit. Nice. It's a light cruiser. So we can see the two battleships. Two heavy cruisers, two light cruisers. We've got one over pen, uh, two penetration shots, and two ricochets. Explosive shots. 
I was going. That should already be what I was firing, but it's hard to say. Nice, big hit. Destroyed his main gun. That ship's got to be getting close. Down to 14%. That hit should just about do it. That one just, just barely missed. after this other one for a little bit. Oh, that hurt. Damaged my secondary tower. Both my towers have been hit now. Down to 91% now. Need to land some hits on these armored cruisers. guns like I do, but they might have more armor than me. I haven't landed a hit yet on this cruise.
be a good, promising shot. Ah. the accuracy I'm used to with the modern battleship missions. Radar will do that. Man, I'm not even coming close right now. But neither is he. Partial penetration. A different target, a little closer. A lot of partial penetration right now on this battleship. Let's see if maybe we can get some fire going with some AT shells.
lost in my torpedo range. Oh, there was a nice hit. Secondary tower fire. aggressive with these torpedoes. either missed badly or just not able to see it for whatever reason. Oh, there it is. I'm going to start turning now to avoid it. torpedo it's right there
surviving a lot longer than I expected to, being one ship taking on all these others. Especially with the thinner armor and the smaller guns than I actually... I actually had the choice to get bigger guns and could have put more armor, but that wouldn't have been what I was after on this one. Battleship down, finally. Torpedo, torpedo is about to hit me, and there ain't nothing I can do about it. Oh, there they are. There's two more as 
well. I don't, I don't think I in any position to be able to move away from these things. My best bet would actually try to beat it. Move faster, but I don't think I've got a lot of speed. You're gonna hit me right in the rear. I'm gonna try to turn around it now. Uh, I might miss the second one. No, they're both gonna get me. Tell you what, I've taken quite a beating. I'll say that. Taking on a whole fleet. Somehow I'm still afloat. Sitting at 1% on float. Just barely holding off the water. All he needs to do is poke one more little hole in the side of the ship. It's gotta be frustrating for him to have me that close. Go 
down, darn you. Two mortally wounded ships going at it. You see the water kind of trying to go over his deck. Crazy. Nobody wants to die. There I go. I got hit by a torpedo. All right. So there you have it. My kind of HMS Dreadnought. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what ship you'd like to see me try and design next. Again, these are all going to be approximations based on the limitations I have. Um, but there you have it. So let me know your thoughts. Hit that like button if you would. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you again soon. Thanks for watching.